If there's one word that's been at the top of every tech company's mind lately, it's AI. 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 There's been a rapid expansion of what artificial intelligence systems can do. And this past year, you could find AI woven into all of our everyday tech, from writing emails to drafting text messages. So what's next for AI in 2024? It's as important as smartphones, as important as PCs, as important as the internet, probably. But nobody knows exactly how it's going to actually be important yet. So all these companies are trying to experiment and see what sticks and what is going to be a big new business. Experts say AI is ramping up over the next several months, so buckle up. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT and the leader of Silicon Valley's AI rush of 2023, took the race to a new place in November. Developers can now build custom versions of ChatGPT's generative software and open them up for anyone to use. It's essentially the AI version of an app store, which, as we know, revolutionized the smartphone industry. And there's a sense an online shop for GPTs could be just as impactful for AI. These custom GPTs cater to specific tasks, like coaching on how to be a better writer or offering travel advice. That narrowed down focus could make generative AI tools more useful and practical to a wider audience. If you think of you know, your computer, your computer can do just about anything, but you use it in the form of apps, you know, Microsoft Word, Adobe Photoshop, or Angry Birds, or something like that. There's one specific thing that you tap on or you open to do a specific job. And I think that's what GPTs promise. It's sort of a, a specific utility, and I think that will make it much more approachable for people and much more useful for people. Making a new GPT doesn't require any coding. It's built with plain language instructions. Feed it knowledge by uploading PDFs, videos, photos, or audio, and direct the bot to create something based on that, or tell it to search the web. Without needing extensive programming expertise, it lowers the barrier to entry for anyone to make a GPT. Creators can get a cut of the revenue from their GPTs, too. But if AI is going to get better, it needs to communicate in a more human-like way. And to do that, it needs to go beyond just text. ChatGPT's newest trick is speaking answers aloud. That means you could have it generate a bedtime story and then read it out to your children, which is a concept that maybe someday will sound less dystopian. But it's not just ChatGPT getting more conversational. Amazon's voice assistant Alexa has entered the chat. Amazon uses AI to help Alexa respond faster to a question. And the idea is that it shouldn't stumble if you change your wording mid-sentence. But perhaps the most curious AI contender in 2024 is what Google is cooking up, a model called Gemini. It can analyze and learn from all kinds of media, including text, photos, video, and audio. So it has sort of a, a native understanding of a lot more different types of content. And that's really important. That's the way we work. We don't just work with text. Text is important, but we also work visually and with what we hear. And so this is an attempt to bring AI a bit closer to how humans actually work. Google says Gemini could look at a handwritten physics problem, find the mistake, and then explain how to fix it. Gemini launched on Pixel 8 phones and in Google's AI chatbot, Bard. But what if the AI isn't just in the phones and sites you visit, but in something you wear? All eyes will be on the startup Humane, which created a device called the AI pin that attaches to a shirt or collar. It acts as a personal assistant with eyes on the world around you, controlled by voice commands. In place of a screen, a laser image projects on the palm of your hand. It sends text messages, plays music, takes photos, makes calls, and it claims it can also translate a real-time conversation in different languages. Can this be more useful than a smartphone? I think that that's kind of a harder sell. More likely, AI is going to be built into the existing tools that we already have. We're not going to want to buy a one specific AI tool. We're going to want to have AI in the tools we already use. Smartphones are really useful things to carry around. And smartphones are already getting some notable AI boosts. Google's Pixel 8 smartphones come with features like Magic Editor, which lets users move and erase people and objects and adjust backgrounds straight from your phone's gallery. There's also a feature called Best Take, which lets you swap out someone's face if they're blinking for a shot where everyone's looking at the camera. Apple has also been adding AI features to the iPhone with things like Personal Voice, which can generate a voice that sounds like you after you train it on a series of prompts. See, that is the best tech site. Like and follow. <laughs> okay, so in the beginning, it sounded very much like my intonations, and then at the end I sounded like I was really bored. That's crazy. We'll see AI get baked into more devices and operating systems throughout the year. So far the most exciting stuff is happening in a data center somewhere. When you get Dolly to generate images from OpenAI servers or when you're using ChatGPT or BARD, those require big data centers. If we can get the chips running fast enough 
on our laptops, we could do that potentially with a lot faster response and more privacy for what we're doing. It would be a pretty big change. That includes computer chips with AI accelerators like the ones Intel announced in December 2023. AI has also crept into social media content. I have stumbled upon some pretty convincing and honestly quite good AI-generated song covers on TikTok. And while it can be fun to generate Harry Styles' voice singing style by Taylor Swift, there are some pretty serious concerns about people misusing AI to make it seem like someone did or said something that never actually happened. Which is why both TikTok and YouTube are adding labels to videos with AI-generated content so you can know that what you're watching isn't actually real. And that's especially important during an election year. We've already seen AI-generated images of politicians, like the ones of Donald Trump seemingly getting arrested by a group of New York City police officers. These pictures were so convincing that they spread like wildfire over Twitter before they were debunked. I worry that AI, which can generate you know, images on demand, is going to be used to create images that we really fundamentally can't trust. And the place that's most likely to happen is social media. That's where you're gonna see somebody boost a post from some stranger you've never know, you don't know that you might think is real. It's gonna be something shocking or powerful or emotional or surprising. And even if you intellectually think that might not be true, it still kind of goes straight into your brain and you think, oh my God, the president's being arrested. Another thing you'll have to brace yourself for is companies starting to charge more for their generative AI products. Right now, you have the option to either use the free versions of platforms like ChatGPT, or you can subscribe to get more features. Companies are expected to push you to pay for more features as a way to profit from these systems. I think part of the problem right now is it's still not really clear what value AI delivers. If it turns out to be super useful for summarizing documents or generating new emails or putting together slide presentations, maybe your company's gonna say, wow, that's a big productivity boost, that's worth paying for. But if it's just kind of fun to noodle around with, get better ideas for your kid's birthday party, mm, that's probably not something you're gonna wanna spend 20 bucks a month on. And if AI can prove itself to be worth paying for, it may become yet another monthly subscription in a household budget. What AI developments are you most excited or anxious about? Let us know in the comments, and for all you humans out there, if you want to see more stories about where AI is heading, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.